continuation. I actually found out for the first time the other day when I had this telepathic conversation with the Admiral in um, Charlie's pub in Devon, in France, in this dimension. I actually found out the ending of that story, um, Peter and Angel, or Flame and Peter, or whatever they call it, Solar Angel and, and, and Flame, or... Anyway, that, that movie they made for RTL4, I found out the background to that and the ending of it, because when I watched it with Miguel of the Citadel in his flat earlier this year, I didn't see all of the movie, but I kind of got a feeling that the movie was based on me. And I found out from the Admiral that it was based on me. And what actually happened last year when I was in the Citadel, a whole load of journalists and people like that, reporters, TV, movie makers, they watched me in the Citadel. And, of course, they looked at the website and they listened to the songs and everything. So they built the character around me. And, you know, they made it, you know, a kind of story where he goes up against the Illuminati and then Flame joins him. She comes down from heaven and, and then they're fighting all this Illuminati and everything. And in the end, he dies. But they don't actually show that he dies in the movie. He's just pretty messed up and shot and everything. And then she takes him in a plane and they take off in the plane and they land in another world. So that's the ending of that movie. I've never actually seen that and nobody's actually told me that with words. But this is what the Admiral said to me. So I figure that's pretty much what happened in the in the movie. I've yet to see the movie properly all the way through, but I mean, I don't need to see it. I'm living it, and it's based on me. But the funny thing is, as I did at the bit, uh, beginning of this movie, I started to act a bit like he's acting in the movie, because I figured it's based on me anyway. So I thought I'd play him a little bit, so I'm fixing my bike there. And on that day when I was fixing my bike, you know, I kind of felt in that day all this stuff I was going through, the emotions and everything, that, you know, it could go that way, you know, because whoever made that movie could have had the insight you know, like, for example, Steven Spielberg with Close Encounters of the Third Kind, etc., etc. Whoever made that movie could have had the insight to see my writings and my songs, where this is all going. And so they could have built that ending as a possible ending for me. You know, but it doesn't have to be like that. You know, I don't have to go against, you know, all these people and get all shot and beaten up. Maybe I do, you know. Maybe that's what it's about. I'm hoping it's not about, I'm hoping it's not about that because I'm trying to be here as an ambassador in this world since I've realized I'm in a different world. I haven't come here to fight everybody, but, you know, to get out of this world, if I've got to do that, you know me, I'll do it. And if I've got to do that to get the attention of Miss Venus, then, because uh, this is another thing which some telepaths have been telling me, she won't come down unless it's really emergency, you know, that unless, you know, I'm going to die out of it. Or she'll come down after my death to pick me up, I don't know. All I know is she's real, you know, some people are trying to tell me she's pixelation and I had a JR for over pixelation. But, you know, in my mind's eye through meditating, I saw her there on this planet. She's very real, you know. So I don't think I have such a powerful imagination that I can make pixels come to life. But, um, she's real, it's a real dimension. And the day which I actually filmed Planet Venus was actually the 22nd of January, not the 26th. I made a mistake earlier in this movie. It was the 22nd of January. That was the night I left the other one. And so from leaving the other one and kind of walking up a, a hill, pushing this bike, you know, all night long from Herrenberg to Tubingham, something told me to um, turn around and film. And I filmed it. Been Actually, when I think about it, there was another time I filmed Venus about three days before that, and we parked outside a McDonald's, and something just told me to get out of the car, and I got out and looked up at Venus, and it was very bright in the sky at that time. And I just took a photograph of it. Yeah, that is actually the, the pixelation which I got um, Venus Angel out of. And on the night I was pushing my bike, and I left, you know, Herrenberg. Then I started to mess around with the uh, editing and, and then I got contact. So it was like, you know, a few nights before that, she called out to me, take a photograph of me, you know. I didn't hear it, but something made me do it. And when I started to edit that three days later, it was like, hey, hi, here I am. But of course, you know, while I'm editing it, she's transmitting to me, edit. That's how it works, you know, and I think a lot of people on Earth have probably realized that now and they're doing it. Because I'm getting blasts from people, telepathic blasts, and they're saying, man, everybody's pixelizing back on Earth. Everybody, you know, you helped us, so many of us, man. And, and we're getting actually in contact with people, you know, telepathy, we're all realizing it. So, you know, there might be people who want to take me out because of that, because it goes against all their indoctrination for so many thousands of years or whatever. But 
you know, I hope I've done something for him, Manny, and, and the Admiral said that to me, you've helped a lot of people. So I believe that. In my dimension, my Admiral, where we come from, I've done all right. You know, maybe he did it in his time in a different way. They didn't have W550 eyes in that time. But I've done it in a modern way in the 21st century.